what did he say? He says we can see quite well. <laughs> I've done a lot of thinking about the last 30 odd years coming up. It's just an incredible journey. <laughs> I just want to measure you up now. I want you to look at me. It's really difficult to imagine that uh, it's almost 30 years since we started. Come on, Arid, I told everybody you put them in in one go. Fred would be very pleased to see the way the foundation has grown and developed. I think Fred was really uh, very much around trying to empower and develop things and, and, and set up things so that people could then run things on their own. I can't sort of say, I went out and did this, you know, because that's all bloody nonsense, because we did it as a team. Professor Frederick Cossum Hollows is not your average sort of eye surgeon. He was willing in his dying years to treat people whose names he didn't know. What am I going to do? Sit around Randwick and look miserable. What Vietnam has to have is the means of taking out cataracts and putting in intraocular lenses spread far and wide throughout this country. The Australian of the Year for 1990 is Professor Fred Hollows. He did it out of his own philosophy. Every eye is an eye. Welcome back. Now, a straight question, straight answer. What about these new $5 notes? What do you think of those? <laughs> Hate them? <laughs> well, Fred Hollows, the wild colonial boy of medicine, is going to tell you exactly what you can do with them. <laughs> Would you please welcome Professor Fred Hollows. Welcome, Fred. Now, look, they've all got uh, $5 courtesy of Westpac here that they're not going to give back. Um, you're going to tell us nicely where to stick them. Since I've been called a larrikin for so long, I've had to modify my language, you see. <laughs> and no matter what you think I should say, I'm going to tell you. The Fred Hollows Foundation is an organisation set up by a group of people who have been working with me. I cringe a bit at the use of my name, but the aim is to make the world a better place. That's the sort of microscope we hope to be able to make here in Vietnam. The great challenges are not really personal challenges. How much can I do? The great challenges are, what structures can I help set in place that will alter things? And knowing that this is a process that's gonna go on, you know, so it's exciting stuff. Long after you're gone? Yeah. Three months after the death of Professor Fred Hollows, his supporters have taken an important step towards fulfilling his dream. The first of three intraocular lens factories for the third world will be built in the Eritrean capital Asmara later this year. I can't believe how many people have been involved in raising these, the, the cash to make this happen. And, and, and we couldn't have done it without Australia. I think Australia is a great country. People are just so generous. died the idea didn't die at all and I think it made a lot of people a lot stronger and everybody has been just amazing that they've just been so committed to to actually making it happen and I think he died very much in peace knowing that we'd get on with the job <laughs> <laughs> 